this is Rosario. It's nice to meet you. Okay, come on, honey. Sit o down o. <laughs> Try not to talk o. You hear how she talks to me? <laughs> I speak English, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Except when it's time to work. <laughs> then it's all no hablo English. I work like a dog. It's not my fault that you and Mr. Stan are pigs. They're pigs. I don't want to hear it, sorry. I'll be here. I'll be here. I'm nervous, Will. I can't live without Rosario. Please, you've got to help me out. Maybe you're better off without her. How can you say that, honey? She's been I was been talking to for... Rosario. <laughs> Why do you say that about Miss Karen? I love Miss Karen. I thought we talked about that suit. <laughs> okay, well, listen, Don't see you right now. Wait, 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 Tonight on Springer, shallow socialites and the maids who abuse them. <laughs> Look, um, we can apply for citizenship or get a temporary work visa, but, you know, these things take time. You know, as short of marrying someone, I don't see any quick solution. Well, how would that work? I mean, just for argument's sake. Well, she would get married, but, I mean, her groom-to-be would have to be a U.S. citizen with no ties, someone who's available, but, you know, not looking for a romantic entanglement. Hey, guys, look. <laughs> I'm Will's last boyfriend. Ricky, Ricky. <laughs> what? Miss Karen, I need a new dress. I can't breathe in this. Funny. It fit yesterday. Before the frozen turkey mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> Jack, honey, take good care of my angel. <laughs> For the honeymoon, I think I'm gonna bring Dan instead of Doug. Rosario, who are you gonna bring? <laughs> oh, Jack, look at you. Is this the little girl I carried? Okay, I've drawn up your papers. I'm gonna need you both to review them before your meeting with the immigration people. Speaking of which, pop quiz. Jack, what side of the bed does Rosario sleep on? She sleeps in a hammock on the sun porch. How the hell should I know? <laughs> because if you don't know, she's going to be deported. Rosario, where does Jack work? He's on the guiding light. <laughs> Hey, I sent them a tape of just Jack. It's just a matter of time. Solomon Tiak. Gracias. Okay, Jack, this is serious, okay? This is not like the, the, the time you pretended to be Jewish so he could get that rabbi's phone number. Oh. What a mistake, a guy who can't go out on a Friday night. This is so stupid. I look like a piñata. And if I beat you with a stick, I could watch all my money fall out. <laughs> now, how about a little appreciation for all of this? All I want is my green card, not a party I have to clean up after. <laughs> if it wasn't for this, you'd be flying back to Cucaracha on air guacamole with live chickens running up and down the aisle. Listen, lady, I'm gonna snap you like a twig and throw you in a bush. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Is Why don't nice? you shut up? Like sexy lady! Oh, my God, my little girl's getting married. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I know my husband, Stan, would have loved to have been here tonight, but regrettably could not attend, as he is at home watching the Knicks game. <laughs> However, I know that he would echo my sentiments in saying, Rosario, by marrying Jack, we're not losing a maid. We're keeping a maid. We are gathered here today to join this man, John Philip McFarland, and this woman, Rosario Inez Consuelo Yolanda Salazar, 
in the bond of holy matrimony. And today, Rosario and Jack take their first step on the road to true intimacy. <laughs> Shut up, you guys! Hey, Poodle. Who's your daddy? You are. Sorry to get you up so early, Karen. Oh, grow up, honey. I haven't been to bed yet. I need to speak to both of you about Rosario. Hey, hey, hey. That's Mrs. Jack McFarland to you. <laughs> I thought you were Mrs. Jack McFarland. <laughs> and I thought you didn't have love handles. I guess we're both wrong. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got a call from my friend at the INS yesterday, and apparently the marriage between a 30-year-old gay man and a postmenopausal Salvadoran maid flagged something in their computer. <laughs> Are we done yet? No. Look, they're gonna start making random visits to verify that Jack and Rosario are a real married couple. So, since their official residence is listed as your place, I think the best thing would be for Jack to move into your penthouse. I just adore a penthouse view. <laughs> oh, my very own sexless marriage. <laughs> just like Will and Grace. This? This is my penthouse view. Did you say my name? No, I said this is my penthouse view, but I understand it sounds exactly like Rosario. You know, you never talked to me this way before we were married. Sorry, Rosie, I'm still a little tense about our conjugal bed. Wash you like a wormy apple. I hate it here, Karen. I want to be in the good part of the house with you. Well, that's sweet, Jack, but this is where the help stays. But I'm not help. Honey, you married help, you're help. Oh, and um, one other thing. Stan sleepwalks, so if you bump into him in the middle of the night and he puts the moves on you, just go with it. <laughs> Get a mink in the morning. <laughs> uh, Rosario, what does Jack's father do? Make people feel bad about who they are. This is no time to be fooling around. Karen, she's right. Oh. <laughs> Rosario, you'll go in first. I need some water. Again? What are you snacking on a salt lick when I'm not looking? <laughs> There goes my world. There goes my everything. You stop worrying. She's just a maid. Just a maid? It's like saying that Prada's are just shoes or vodka is just a morning beverage. <laughs> Karen, please, the dramatics. Don't you understand how she... Okay. I am going to tell you something that... I've never told anyone. Rosario is my mother. She's not your mother. All right, she's not my mother. <laughs> but sweet nectar of the gods, nobody gets the Merlot out of my nylons like that little plantain. Karen. Well, she runs the entire house. She, she alphabetizes my medicine cabinets. She knows the ins and outs Karen. of my... She's my friend. <sighs> She is not your friend. <laughs> oh my God, she is. Wow. Real feelings. Are you okay? <laughs> Look, Karen, just leave everything to me. I promise nothing will go wrong, okay? Okay, I'll see Mr. and Mrs. McFarland now. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I remember him well. <laughs> How could you not know he worked for the INS? Don't they teach you anything at homo school? 
So what kind of music does your uh, husband like? Well, when he's doing butt aerobics, he likes NSYNC. <laughs> but for the spinning class, he prefers the oldies. You know, Frankie goes to Hollywood. Relax, stop doing that, relax, stop doing that. <laughs> and, and where did you two meet? Hmm. Let me guess, it was Boy Bar. Mister, I don't know what you're talking about. It was a blind date and we went to Arby's. <laughs> okay, let's stop pretending. I've gotten farther with your husband than you have. I hope your bags are packed, because you're going back to El Salvador. Oh my God, honey, they're sending her back. Oh. No, they're not. <gasps> no one's going anywhere. How dare you imply our marriage is a sham? Uh, you're gay. <laughs> What? A guy sleeps with guys and uh, immediately he's pegged as gay? <laughs> Let me tell you a little something about the day I met Rosario. I looked over the top of those half glasses into those big brown eyes and I knew from that moment love had found Jack McFarland. Oh, my cha-cha. <laughs> Rosario, my love, my life, my all, I adore you. You had me at Ola. Good Lord. You know you shouldn't look, but there is a certain morbid fascination, isn't there? Sweetie, I believe this is yours. <laughs> now, I've seen people desperate to be an American, but that is desperate to be an American. <laughs> Fine, you pass. See you in six months. We never met. We won! Oh, honey, you are magnificent. And the light is back in my life. Oh, honey, you know, it's funny how sometimes you just don't realize how much you might miss something until it's almost gone. Which reminds me, I've got a Chanel suit at the dry cleaners, and boy, did I miss it! Come on. They close in an hour. Move it or lose it. Muy caliente. 